Is PC culture destroying freedom of speech? Nope. From YouTube comments to presidential candidates, it seems a lot of people think freedom of speech is under attack. And who might I ask is to blame? The God PC culture. If you've ever called out racism, sexism, ableism, or any other oppressive-ism, you've probably been accused of being too PC. PC is, of course, short for politically correct. Political correctness is avoiding words or behaviors that exclude, marginalize, or insult groups of people who are socially disadvantaged or discriminated against. Basically, treating people with respect. Now, if you ask me, that doesn't sound like a bad thing. But a recent poll by Fairleigh Dickinson University found that 68% of Americans and 81% of Republicans agreed that a big problem this country has is being politically correct. Even 62% of Democrats polled agreed that being PC was getting out of hand. For these folks, political correctness is synonymous with weakness or being overly sensitive. Similar to the new term social justice warrior, calling someone PC is a way to derail and dismiss conversations about inequality. Okay, PC police, you're just offended by everything. The term PC is almost always used as an insult. While it's been around for a while, it gained popularity in the 80s when it caught on with conservatives not liberals. So why is being PC used as an insult? And what, if anything, does it have to do with free speech? Here's the thing. It's not just about hurt feelings. It's about calling out oppressive power structures, and that's where the misunderstanding comes in. What's perceived as being too sensitive is usually someone speaking out against lazy, offensive language that doesn't usually get challenged. That's because the group of people that those words hurt historically haven't had the opportunities to have their voices heard. And the people who call that being too PC are often in privileged positions and don't want to or haven't had to think about what they're saying or the consequences that come with it. You can't take away my freedom of speech just because you're offended. Well, yeah. In America, freedom of speech simply means the government cannot prohibit you from expressing yourself. It's why you can criticize Obama without being thrown in jail. But on an interpersonal level, freedom of speech does not mean freedom from consequences. Technically, no subject on earth is off limits. You can say whatever you want, but in turn, people are allowed to respond however they want. The fact that you can comment means you're not being censored. If you tell a crappy sexist joke and someone says, hey, that was a crappy sexist joke, that's freedom of speech. And if you post some racist bullshit on Facebook and your boss decides she doesn't want to employ people who spew racist bullshit on Facebook, you still have freedom of speech. And you're free to take that racist bullshit somewhere else. America. PC culture, treating others with respect, social justice warriors, whatever you call it, isn't prohibiting anyone's freedom of speech. It's mainly about people standing up for themselves and asking to be spoken to and spoken about in a respectful way. In fact, political correctness is expanding free speech. We're adding words to the dictionary every year in an effort to promote more inclusive and respectful speech. Last year alone, the OED added microaggressions, mansplain, and a whole host of gender terms like cisgender, agender, and gender fluid to the dictionary. That seems like giving more speech to more people, not less. So have you ever been accused of being too PC? Or maybe you've been thrown in jail for saying the N-word. How do you still have internet access? Tell us about it in the comments below, and we'll see you next week right here on Decoded. In our last vlog, we asked, why does privilege make people so angry? Here's what you had to say. You're right, the dorky dorkas. Most of those dorks didn't watch the video. And if it wasn't copyright infringement, I would start singing the story of my life right now. Oh, I'm sorry, Peter. He liked it, so he put a ring on it. Alexandra, this is a great comment. It's so awesome that you understand privilege, and I want to make sure everyone reads it, so I'm going to sit here and celebrate while you read the comment. In our last sketch, we talked about why you can't sound white. Here's what you had to say. Key vlogs, I'm so sorry to hear that that's happened to you. It seems like reading from the comments, this is an experience lots of people had. Hopefully this video shed some light on the conversation so this insult can stop. April, that is terrible. And for everyone else, it's also an example of institutional racism. You know what, Jay Corbett, you are petty as hell and so is your mama, but I like you for it.